Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus is that light of life. I found this uh, on fake book. I'm on, I'm in a, uh, the, the head of the Revelation Scriptures, uh, Scott, made me an administrator last time i was on there i was banned the first day he told me uh, don't make too many posts so uh, that's what i've been doing like one or two posts a day he says once you've been there a couple months well then you can you know make a lot of posts but until then yeah whatever but i saw this on his um fake book page and uh, it reads I'm just going to read the whole thing did you know that the 12 sons of Jacob now remember Jacob's name was changed to Israel did you know that the 12 sons of Jacob reveals Jesus Christ Jacob had 12 sons and their names put together reveal a hidden gospel it's amazing how God hid all these wonderful truths in simple names and stories here are the names and their meanings Judah means, now I will praise God. That I know for a fact. That is in Genesis 29, 35. Reuben means, surely God has looked upon my affliction. Genesis 29, 32. Uh, Bob's note here. A lot, uh, quite a bit of the number of names in the Old, Testaments, Old Testament had meanings. Gad means what good fortune, Genesis 30, verse 11. Asher means happy am I, Genesis 30, verse 13. Naphtali means with great wrestling have I wrestled, Genesis 30, verse 8. Manasseh means for God has made me forget all my toil, Genesis 41, 51. Simeon means because God has heard that I was hated, Genesis 29:33. Levi means now this time will my husband be joined to me. Now remember Levi was a male and Levi was the tribe that was to serve the Lord in the tabernacle. But you have to look at it from the perspective of the church being the bride of Christ. Now this time will my husband be joined to me. Remember, Christ is the husband and the church is the bride. It has nothing to do with sodomy. Issachar, Issachar means God has given me my wages. Genesis 30 verse 18. Zebulun means God has endowed me with a good gift. Now my husband will dwell with me. Genesis 30, verse 20. Joseph means God shall add to me. Now remember, Joseph had two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, right? Uh, that's God shall add to me. Genesis 30, verse 24. Benjamin means you shall have this son. Genesis 35, verse 17 and 18. Together, this is what it says. Listen carefully. Now will I praise God. Surely God has looked upon my affliction. What good fortune. Happy am I. With great wrestlings have I wrestled and I have prevailed. For God has made me forget all my toil because God has heard that I was hated. Now this time... Will my husband be joined unto me? God has given me my wages. God has endowed me with a good gift. Now my husband will dwell with me. God shall add to me. You shall have this son. Pretty amazing, huh? Alrighty, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain, from the foundation of the world, in Jesus' name, amen.